Today I want to talk about Kazumi's lows because when I started playing I would hear a lot of people say that she didn't have any good lows aside from down back 4 which is not true at all. There are a lot of characters that would love to have at least one of these low pokes that Kazumi has access to. And before we start this is not really a guide per se so if you have any applications and strategies for these lows that I didn't mention uh, feel free to do so in the comment section I would love to hear it. And to start things off, down 3 and down 4. These are the two that I use the most in my matches. And they don't do a lot of damage, you, should, you just look at one of them, but they are more likely to be hitting your opponent several times than down back 4. You have to create the situation uh, to hit down back 4 because this one is, is low, the stature kick. If the opponent challenges you, you're gonna get a hit out of it. So these, they high crush less likely to get counter hit by a jab string or something like that slightly faster as well and even though they are minus on hit you still have plenty of good options as a follow up one of them is movement so if you do down 4 from certain distance and then you back dash away or you just do down 3 this one has pushed back on hit you create this spacing trap if the opponent just mindlessly uh, press a button here you can easily whiff punish depending on what they throw out. And then you still have side step to the background, only one direction because she's crouching, but still very useful if you know the tracking of the move the opponent is using. And also, if they're doing uh, slow stuff, you can do while standing for as a follow up. If they try to dash in to not whiff in that spacing trap situation, then you start doing while standing for to catch them. And if they play safe, back dash away you can do down 4 into dash and pressure them uh, once again now down 3 plus 4 is very similar to the other two that i just discussed but this one is faster so there are situations that this one is a little bit better even though it doesn't deal a lot of damage only 7 it is still good for quick mix ups and if you're a plus 4 and you're afraid that the opponent might read your low and do a hop kick this as a follow-up is gonna count ahead them right because the generic hop kick the 15 frames hop kicks will jump at frame 9 and this one is gonna hit them at frame 8 so they're not airborne and they're gonna get hit by this anyways super nice doesn't apply to all jumping kicks so for example uh, devil jeans up 4-4 four four. Uh, it jumps at frame 7 if I'm not mistaken also ask as can can uh, jumps really early so not all jumping attacks but mostly hop kicks and the speed is also super nice to catch opponents trying to sidestep so you can sidestep this move uh, to the right but because it is kind of fast not all characters will be able to do it in time mostly it's going to be like Lily which has an amazing sidestep and the last high crushing move that she has is down back 2 this one is very damaging but quite slow as well, 23 uh, frames, but it has counter hit properties. If the first one counter hits, the second one is guaranteed and it has a, a big window for confirming. So if you see the situation, you see that they were throwing out something and you interrupted them, you can do the second hit as you see the situation, right? 33 damage on counter, super damaging, it's more than her health sweep and less commitment. And if you are just using down back 2 from time to time to you know low poke, you're gonna condition them to not expect the follow up, which is pretty nice when you want to finish off a round. So let's say that you knocked the opponent down and you do a low, and they you expect them to you know maybe guess it. You can do the second hit to make sure that if they try to block a punish the first hit, they get counter hit by the second one and lose anyways. This does not apply to the third one. The third one can be option select by a 11 frames. So if they do while standing for it, they're gonna always punish you. But since all of the hits are minus 14, if the opponent has a launcher on it, it might be you know uh, a good idea to use the full string to make sure that you're not going to get launched by it. And the last low poke is down back three, which looks pretty similar to down back four. It is a stature kick but slightly faster, less damage, and less frames on hit. Problem with this move is that it has some pushback on hit, so if they try to backdash away, they will likely get uh, to uh, make you whiff. 
So down for one, depending on the range that he hits, it's going to whiff. Your lows are going to connect if they backdash away. So that's one option if you know that they have the tendency to do that. But one nice thing about this low is that he hits grounded. So let's say you do your wall combo and you expect the opponent to stay on the ground instead of deck rolling. This is a good option because this low hits grounded opponents unlike down back four. And whenever you need to hit the opponent on the ground, down back three and down four are two good options to uh, remember. Down back three deals a little more damage, but this one has short range. And down four is very good for uh, especially people that try to side roll on the ground. So these options have them in mind whenever you want to hit the opponent on the ground. And that's about it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Try to really use all of her lows and understand the situations and the strategies you can create with them because if you only do down back four, you will eventually run into a wall where you cannot use it against aggressive opponents at all uh, and you're gonna be scared to create mix-ups which are very important for uh, Kazumi's damage. She doesn't do a lot with her uh, attacks, it's mostly from poking, punishing things and from time to time you find a gap to get a launcher on that through maybe magic 4 or a full 3-2 uh, with punish. Anyway, see you next time.